Okay, so this is our two minute shooting drill course that we're gonna be putting our frozen, tired, and starving Tori and Carrie through. When we say go, random targets will flip over, good and bad. They will have to choose only the bad guy and not shoot the good guy. They'll each have 30 rounds, and on Grant's command, they'll advance twice down the room to complete the test. After they're done here, our police officer, Corporal Stankiewicz, will take down all the targets and score them, and we'll see how well they did. As said, they've got two kinds of targets. The good guys. Oh, hello, who do we have here? Is this a male mo Oh, no, it's me. And a scary amalgam of the bad and the ugly. As for the weapons... Now, these guns are, in fact, real guns, but they've been specially modified with a different barrel that allows them to fire these rounds, which are training rounds, they're markers. They're called sims, they're filled with paint so that you can identify where they hit. Carrie and Tori are called on to help reassemble the robot. And after a day of deprivation, they're exhausted and starving, and Grant's not making it easy. Hey, so uh, how many times did I get slapped yesterday? Mm, that looks good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Is that a triple? Mm -hmm. Then it's into the ice truck for 30 minutes to consolidate their incapacity. I kind of feel bad for Gray. I don't feel bad for him anymore. I know. The hamburger? I'm, I'm turning on him. That's just cruel. That's just cruel. But Grant has good reason to up the ante. As far as this experiment goes, there's a big difference between being just cold and being cold, tired, and hungry. Because if you're running around and you're cold, you can get warmer. But you can't get less tired without sleeping and less hungry without eating something. To be scrupulous, Carrie and Tori first ran the course yesterday when they were still hale and hearty. They both fired 30 rounds and missed just once. So that's our uninhibited baseline. Now it's time to find out just how impaired they've become, starting with Carrie. Eyes on. <laughs> Pick up your firearm. I am really tired from tensing. I am freezing cold. I am starving. Ready. And begin. I think I'm getting a headache. So she's less than her usual bubbly self. But will it impair her performance? Going through the course was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be because I was shaking so much that I couldn't hold my gun straight, and um, it, it was, it's, it's, it's like I can't concentrate. It was just, uh, just my, my head is tired. I can't, I can't focus. At the end of the test, Carrie at least hasn't shot any good guys, but the rounds she got off were really a case of hit and miss. You fired a total of 19 rounds, and eight of them were hits. It's like an F. Yeah, but bear in mind, I mean, you're tired, hungry, and cold. You're supposed to be impaired. Mission accomplished. All right, let's go get Tori. Hungry, tired, and chilled, not in a good way, Tori takes up the challenge. Being inside that freezer truck was miserable. My fingers are getting numb. I'm starting to shiver. Um, I could feel my muscles tightening up, to, you know, just to stay warm. And I'm thinking to myself, if I can't even feel my fingers, how am I going to feel the gun in order to pull the trigger? Reload it. Well, he does get to grips with the gun, but just how many of those paint-filled bullets have hit the targets? She had a bad day. OK, John, so how did Tori do? He did really well. Not only did we get all of the shots on target, but he grouped them together very well. Now, on the overall course, how did I do? Well, we counted them up. You didn't hit any of the good guys. You got off 24 rounds, and we had 21 hits. There's not much in it, but just like Carrie, he did worse when affected by hunger and cold and no sleep for a day. Now we're ready to find out once and for all if a slap makes a difference. Exhausted, cold, and starving, their brain function is much like a person in panic. Sorry, Carrie. <laughs> okay. All right, good, good. How you feeling? I just got smacked. OK. But will she improve or implode? Let's begin the testing. Ready and begin. And let Carrie handle the commentary. Getting slapped really refocused me. 
And I, I, I feel like that slap is a lot harder than when we calibrated it originally. I don't know if I'm just really cold, extremely irritated, starving, but it felt really focused. All right, let's get you scored. And then I want a sandwich. The sandwich can wait, but the score can't. All right, it looked better to me, but what was the score? She did really well. She got off a total of 22 rounds and 16 on target. So a very big improvement. Nice. And no good guys. Very good. Carrie scored well enough to well and truly prop up the myth. Now it's all down to Tori. OK, man. How you feeling? Uh, cold, disoriented, uh, a little foggy in the head. OK. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Damn. So with barely a pause between slapping and shooting. All right, just like before, let me know when you're ready. All right, ready. OK, and begin. Grant starts the test that will hopefully settle this once and for all. I am so surprised at how different I felt before the slap and then after the slap. We've been in the freezer for a half hour. I got slapped and instantly I feel awake and alive. And I felt like I moved through the course a lot better. OK, John, so what are the results? Really good. Tori got off a total of 27 shots, 26 on target. And that right there is a clear cut result. They never got back to their unimpaired baselines, but that's not the benchmark. The myth is that slapping revives an impaired mind and body. Well, if we put your results, my results, and his results all together, I think we can call this myth confirmed. Yeah, we were all compromised, and yet all of us had significant improvement after being slapped. Who would have thought a simple slap would help you to focus and improve your ability? Confirmed. Confirmed. confirmed.